I'm Kat, and this tutorial is how to make these Tom Bins inspired safety pin and pearl earrings. They are inspired by a set of earrings from his Pearls and Peril line, and this is the first in a series of video that I'm going to be doing to make Pearls and Peril inspired jewelry. Buying the originals will cost $150 but making this DIY version is less than $5 worth of supplies. For this project, you'll need a pair of pliers for opening jump rings, two small jump rings, two brass safety pins. I got these in a size zero, and I got this entire pack of 180 for $9 at Beverly's Fabrics. I couldn't find a big pack of them at Joann's or Michael's, so I went to Beverly's. You'll also need two larger faux pearls and four smaller faux pearls. Now, I'm not going to tell you the size, I know you're going to ask, but the size of the pearls that you need depends entirely upon what size um, safety pin you get, because you want this section of the safety pin when open to fit one of the large faux pearls and two of the small ones and still be able to close. So if you're getting different size safety pins, you'll need different size pearls. You're just going to have to measure them yourself. You'll also need some of these earrings. You can get a pack of, I think, 60 to 80 of them um, for about $3 at um, Michael's or Joann's, any of those kind of craft stores. And these have a little ball on the end, and then they have a loop underneath that you can attach things to. And that is very important for our project. The first thing you'll have to do is put one small faux pearl onto your safety pin, then a large one and another small one just like that. Then close the safety pin and do the same thing with your other safety pin and your other faux pearls. And close that one as well. Once those are done, simply open up one of your jump rings and attach through the little loop on the end of your safety pin to your earrings. Then close up the jump ring. Now you're going to have a left and a right earring, so I don't like both of my earrings to be identical. I don't know, it's kind of just, it feels better for my brain if I don't have two identical earrings. So that one's facing in on that earring, so. I'm going to make this one be a mirror image of that other one. And close up that jump ring. So it really is that simple, and just like that, my earrings are finished. 